Hey guys, I'm Sebastian, host of Ninth Island Connection, your weekly resource for all things Vegas. You hear it, probably hear a little echo, and I'm gonna explain that. That's one of the reasons we're doing this video right here. So check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show wherever you are. Today, we're at Horseshoe. We're back at Horseshoe. I like staying at this property because even when it was Bally's, because the rooms are always bigger. Your standard basic rooms, entry-level rooms, are always a lot bigger than some of the other, actually everywhere else on the strip for a basic room. Um, in a budget level hotel. And they completely renovated the entire property. It's clean, it's fresh, new carpet, new lighting. It's really, really nice. So we are in the resort tower. If you watch our room tours, we typically always get a one king non-smoking. Um, if somebody's traveling with us, we'll get two queens, but pretty much one king non-smoking. Um, and we're in the resort tower. So the resort tower is closest to the back or furthest away from registration, I should say. Jubilee is the tower that faces Las Vegas Boulevard that's right on the strip. This is the rear tower. Um, so this is a room tour and now I'm going to explain the echo. So this is the entry when you come in, right? It's basic. And then we notice this massive doorway and we were like, wait a second, what is this? Because we didn't order any special type of room, but it kind of looks like it may be an accessible room, which we didn't ask for. Um, so let's go check this out. It's kind of weird. So you've got a big hallway here off of the entry where you have your closets. Big closet. Actually, it is a big closet. Um, yeah, you got your safe in here. Standard stuff, but big. And then you have this counter over here where you would think it would be for a wheelchair. Um, that's why there's such a big space here. But then there's nothing here for like washing your hands or anything like that. So that kind of threw me off because the sink is over here and it's closed in here. So it really wouldn't be an accessible room. Um, I don't know. You guys maybe explain it to us. And then over here is where you have the toilet and shower area. It's almost like a second bathroom because you have another sink in here as well. So two sinks. And then you have your standard shower, which again, because of the lip here, would tell me that it's not accessible because there's no bench in here or anything. And there's the, the lip right there. But then again, look how big the bathroom is. Like this is a really big space in here with even the separate sink this funky thing here. So, I don't know, maybe you guys, if you've ever stayed in here, I don't know, let me know. So this is a regular resort tower, one king non-smoking, didn't book anything extra. Um, and I had no idea that this was gonna be like this. So maybe sometimes you just get the dual sinks, a bigger bathroom closet area, sometimes you don't, I don't know. Let's check out the rest of the room. So we continue on, you've got your big mirror here. Make sure you look and fly on the way out the door. And then we go into the space. So pretty basic, you know, as far as the bedroom space itself, this feels smaller than a regular One King non-smoking Bally's room. But it's because the two, the bathroom and then the other washroom or whatever it is with the closet, it's taking up so much of the room, so much of the room. It's like half of the room is just that funky bathroom with a couple sinks and closet and big walkway and all that stuff. Uh, but this is still nice. And again, this is a basic room, guys. So right over here, you've got the king bed, of course, right in the center. You've got your bench over here. And then you've got two end tables, big end tables here. Look how big they are. And I know it's old, the furniture is old, the rooms have not been touched in years, but for a basic, older room, this is pretty nice. There's lamps, I like that you get your USB ports here for charging. You get your USB, and you've got the regular plug there on all of the lamps in the room. That side, even the one over here, USB and plug-in, which is really nice. So then you've got your work desk, I guess, over here. And then they just like to put counters in this place. 
And then you gotta love the free refrigerator. You gotta love it, I love it. That's one of the things I like about Caesars properties is the free refrigerators in majority of the properties. Where MGM, you don't get a refrigerator in any of the rooms. You can get one, but you're gonna pay for it and they're gonna have to bring it up to the room for you. Where majority of the Caesars properties on the strip, you get a free refrigerator standard and no additional charge. And then, love the view. And you guys should already know this, but if you don't, they do have balconies, but the doors don't open for obvious reasons. And so there, you can see the sphere. Zoom in on that a little bit. So it's pretty much complete on the exterior and they've begun testing the lighting already out there. And then you've got the big wheel with the wind, Venetian just beyond that. Flamingo over here, iconic. Oh, look, you can kind of catch the pool a little bit. The pool at Flamingo. And then this place, people love this place. Right down there, that's the stage door. It's right in the same little strip as Batista's Italian restaurant, which is very, very popular. But Stage Door, check out their social media. They're pretty popular. I don't go there though, because the first time that I tried to go, the one and only time that I was like, you know what, feeling courageous, let's go check out the Stage Door. Because outside is kind of sketchy, outside of the Stage Door, um, especially in the evening, I'm gonna be honest. Um, but the one time we went over there, they had armed security with metal detecting wands at the door. And I was like, if that's the risk for the people that are coming in here, then that's not my scene. So we didn't go in, but I will go in at some point and it's probably gonna be middle of the day in the middle of the week where it's not as busy. All right guys, that's a wrap on this one. Thank you so much for watching this video, for supporting our channel. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel if you're not already. All we do is bring you videos about Vegas. You're watching this because you're interested in content from Vegas. So give us a subscribe, comment below. We wanna hear from you guys. Have you been to Horseshoe? Since it's transformed from Bally's to Horseshoe, are you gonna check it out? What has your experience been? Once again, check out the description below so that you can see how you can watch our television show, Ninth Island Connection, wherever you are. We also go live every Wednesday with a weekly update. And in that update, we bring you what to expect that coming weekend. So we go live on Wednesday, talk about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, concerts, construction, uh, new restaurants, what's shut down, everything happening in Vegas so that you can have the best trip possible. Hit us up on social media. We're on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. We're everywhere, guys. Twitter, we're Ninth Island Connection. four hours a day, seven days a week in a city that never sleeps, Ninth Island Connection will take you there. You won't want to miss a beat as we give you a sneak peek inside the biggest, best, and most outrageous hotspots both on and off the strip. Be sure to tune in to Ninth Island Connection with Sebastian Rodriguez every week. Great people, great stories, great connections, only on Ninth Island Connection.